Thank you very much. Um, and welcome to the, uh, what month is it? April meeting of the Committee of Adjustment for the Town of Tecumseh. Oh yeah. We're meeting at a slightly different time tonight because it was a scheduling conflict for a regular time on Monday. Um, but I thought it'd be a good idea to not resort to Zoom if we could help it. And so we're meeting in person. Welcome Tony from the, from the distance. Yep, my apologies for that. Uh, we're not hearing the uh, Zoom Zoom audio. I am unmuted. We can only hear it through your computer, Dave. Your speaker, speaker settings need to change. Check, 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 Tony. It should be working. Well, we we can hear them on we can hear you on their console, but we can't hear it on the on the PA is the problem. Okay. Try it again. No. Now. Now. Not yet. We got a we got a patching problem there. You hear you now. To, uh, I'm louder. So can't hear you. See what what part of the meeting fails now? Remind everybody. The Zoom part of the meeting fails. <laughs> We could do we could do like in the states and get you a bullhorn. You got it. Well, that's, I'm worried about that. that uh, oh. Do 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 do. Hello, Tony. Hello. <laughs> so, I'm I'm set up right. Like nothing's changed on my end. Yeah, the, is it the connection between the server and the PA system in here. Oh, okay, okay, so okay, so working sure. on it, and we have we have a guest at a distance as well. So, okay, I'm sure he'll take care of it then. There you are. Okay, thanks. Turn that down. You mean it's too good? We're good. Thank you, Dave. Uh, okay, so call the meeting to order. Is there any disclosure of pecuniary interest? Seeing none. Uh, we have lo uh, we have uh, missing tonight. Uh, Tom Marantet and Tony's Tony's by Zoom. The magic of Zoom. Um, oh, and Paul Joman is not here. Yeah. I didn't have him checked off. I thought he'd come. Uh, okay, so Paul isn't here as well. So that's the attendance. Uh, minutes of the previous meeting in March were pre-circulated. Is there any comments on the minutes? Motion to adopt them. Lori and Doug. Uh, uh, any addition, deletion, correction? All in favor of the minutes? Carried. We have one. Um, 
application this evening to consider it's Battersby's. If Mr. Battersby is able to turn his mic on. Yeah, so we can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. We don't see you yet. Do you have a camera or not? Uh, yeah, this should be on here. Um, oh. That looks like maybe you did it. There you are. How's that working? Good, thank you. Uh, so welcome to our meeting. And uh, Donna will read the application as, you, as it's presented. Go ahead. Application for Consent B0623, Ruth June Battersby, Estate 4428 11th Concession Road. The purpose of the application is to request consent to sever a 2,994.7 square meter, 7.74 acre vacant parcel of agricultural land outlined in red on the attached sketch and add it to the vacant non-farm related lot identified as part lot 15, concession 11, part one, 12 R 12199, highlighted in yellow on the attached sketch. As a result of the lot addition, the vacant non-farm related residential lot will have an area of 5,018 square meters, 1.24 acres, and the retained farm parcel outlined in green on the attached sketch, will have an approximate lot area of 38.8 hectares, 95.9 .9 acres. The lands are designated agricultural in the Tecumseh official plan and zoned agricultural in zoning bylaw 85-18. Engineers comments. That the applicant enter into and provide the town of Tecumseh a written agreement for the reapportionment of the drainage assessment for the subject lands in accordance with section 65.2 of the Ontario Drainage Act as amended and that the associated costs of same be borne solely by the applicant. That the applicant be required to modify any subsurface drainage tiles that are located on the parcel to be severed to disconnect them from the subsurface drainage tiles on the parcel to be retained to the satisfaction of the town of Tecumseh chief building official prior to the severance being finalized. It appears that access to the retained parcel will not be affected by the proposed severance and that access to the new parcel is currently being provided over the Battersby drain. As such, it is our view that the new access will not be required to accommodate this application. However, should this not be the case or should the existing access require an engineering report in accordance with the Ontario Drainage Act, it would be required and the associated costs of same be borne solely by the applicant. The applicant should be made, made aware that the municipal sanitary sewers are not available at the location of this severance. A private septic system will be required to the satisfaction of the town of Tecumseh chief building official. The applicant should also be, be made aware of municipal potable water is not available at the location of the severance. Should the applicant wish to pursue the extension of the existing municipal water lines, they may do so through the rural water program which is a user pay program that provides for rural residents with a means of extending existing water infrastructure for the purpose of servicing lands not presently provided with municipal water. Details related to the rural water program can be made available to the applicant. Otherwise, the applicant will be required to source their water privately on site through the installation of a water supply well. This shall be done in compliance with applicable ministry standards and in accordance with necessary permitting. All costs for servicing will be borne or at the expense of the applicant. The building department, no concerns at this time. However, the Ontario building code requirements will need to be met at the time of permit application along with a lot grading plan. Essex Power, the property's not within their service area, no concerns noted. The County of Essex, the minimum setback for any proposed structures on this property must be 85 feet from the center of the original right of way of County Road 43. Permits necessary for any changes to existing structures or the construction of new structures. 
They requested a copy of the decision. Uh, should the application be approved? IRCA. The above lands are not subject to the development interface in wetlands and alterations to shoreline and watercourse regulations under the Conservation Act. Uh, IRCA has no objection to the application for consent. Thank you. Thanks very much, Donna. Um, Mr. Badikby, at this point, we I usually ask the applicant if they have anything else they would like the committee to know that we haven't heard through the application. Any? No, I pretty much hit it all the points there for sure. So. Okay, uh, you you were aware of the county's requirements. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Are you talking for the like the setback? Yeah, the setbacks, right? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. In the Battersby drain, I guess it's a ditch in front of your place, in front of that place. Uh yeah, and then there's Sullivan Creek is behind, yeah. Right behind, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there a culvert in the in the Battersby in the in the ditch? Yeah. Yeah, so when that lot was severed back in I think it was 92, there was uh there was mandatory to put the the bridge there. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, with that, is there any questions from the committee members? Doug? Lori? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So maybe some clarification either from the applicant or from administration in relation to the intent or the purpose of this lot addition. Maybe I guess a clarification on what I see in the application is a proposal to construct two additional dwellings or sorry, two additional structures, or maybe I'm reading this incorrectly. So the existing land to be severed is vacant, but there are proposed two structures. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So basically the lot is um, it's like 0.5 an acre of an acre. So by the time I have to get my like my water like system in and like fit my well and all that stuff, it's kind of small and I need like a like a spot for a shop space. So that's kind of why we like I propose that. So furthermore, thank you through you, Mr. Chair, again to the applicant then. So the intent is to make this lot larger to facilitate the construction of additional buildings on the property? Yeah, so basically to fit my, like to fit the house and to fit like my like septic system, my water system, and then uh, like a, a shops, like a shop on it. Because what I got right now is like, it's it, it probably wouldn't be big enough to do what I need to do there with it. Like it's just pretty much a size just for a house and maybe a small garage. The, the lot is currently vacant, isn't it, Jim? Yes, yes, it's, we're just farming it right now. Right. Through, th through your chair, Mr. Chair. Go so ahead. the existing house will be there and then he's building a shop on the other lot, not a new home. The lot is vacant. Yes, I, I look at that, but I'm saying, is that where he will build his shop on that vacant lot if it's joined? Yes, that's correct. Okay, not a new house, just the house. Are, are you building a new house on that lot? Yes, a house and a garage, yep. Okay. Okay. We usually don't get lot additions for vacant lots, so that's why we're a touch oh, okay. confused with this one. Um, that's it. All right, Larry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Can we get some clarification from administration, please, on the intent of what we see highlighted in yellow, so hatched in yellow, as well as outlined in red, please, and thank you. So through you, through you, Mr. Chair, I'll share the screen to show the um, the proposal. So. Uh, the proposed severed parcel is outlined in red, so it's L-shaped to the north and to the east of the existing vacant lot 
which is highlighted in yellow. So that portion, it, it's vacant. That lot was created years ago. I believe the, the applicant said in 1994. Um, so what the applicant is proposing to do is to add that red outlined area to the yellow to make one larger lot, a larger lot that is consistent with most non-farm related residential lots in the rural area. In fact, it meets the maximum lot area established in the in the zoning bylaw, which is 1.25. So, um, that, that, and, and on that newly formed lot, he wants to build a dwelling and an outbuilding and, and also accommodate a septic system. So uh, we, we believe the size is reasonable for what's being proposed. Uh, it's not unnecessarily taking up uh, farmland. Um, he's, he's, he's provided rationale for it. So um, we're in support of the proposed lot addition. Chris? Oh, one more, Mr. Chair. Oh, yeah, yeah, just follow up. Thank you. Okay, so to the applicant, so what I'm hearing you indicate is that the lot, the existing lot on record, which is in yellow, is not large enough or suitable in size for the needs of your, uh, your intent into building a dwelling and additional uh, accessory structures, correct? Yeah, that's right. And just to clarify, your request is to sever land from the, the farmland, essentially, and add to the yellow um, to make your lot bigger, your, we'll call it the residential portion bigger. Yeah, so it's just one lot, like about, it's just over one acre to make it one acre. I, I can imagine, maybe I can help a little bit with this having had these kind of issues in my own experience. He's got to he's got to put a septic system because there's no sewers, and he's got to dig a well, and there has to be a separation between those those two things, plus plus the buildings that he wants to put on it. So that constrains him to some extent. A half acre lot is good if you have more services available to you, but when you got to put everything on the site, uh, you need the space. Through you, Mr. Chair, I just have one more question so I can get my grasp. The area in yellow, was that originally severed from that 99 acres? And now he wants to sever an additional and that falls within? Yeah, I, as I understand this application, it was severed uh, years ago in the 80s and never, and never uh, processed or done anything, we never developed. That's, that's correct, Mr. Chair. The, the lot in yellow was severed many decades ago, and um, he's just adding to that lot now to make it larger. Okay, can you, I can't see uh, the Zoom people now. <laughs> there we are, Tony. Uh, Mr. Chair, on the application, uh, the very last page of the application, there was a diagram that was submitted that I think would help the committee members with what the proposal is here. So if Chad has that available. It's on, it's on the very last page. No. Mr. Chair, if uh, the Secretary Treasurer could just share that with the, the commemorators just to take a look at it. I think okay. it'd be quicker than, than trying to find the application. Yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. It shows, uh, yeah, it shows the weeping bed and stuff. Doesn't show water supply, but 
I, I assume you have it, Tony. Uh, yes, I do. And it was actually, it was for those very reasons that you mentioned that I think that the, uh, the increase in the lot is actually required for the, for the new setbacks of weeping systems and for the setbacks of just the well water to the weeping bed, you would need a greater distance. So uh, I, I think this is appropriate for what his intentions are. Yeah, and, and you got to remember that that wasn't the county road when it was severed before. So he's got to deal with the 85 foot setback from the, from the center of the road. Anything else? Other questions? Chris? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, just a quick question for the applicant on the intent. You are going to, you're planning on building this yourself, right? This is not a lot you're going to change your mind on and, and put it up for sale. No, absolutely not. This this farm's been in our family for over a hundred years. So that's kind of why I want to make it make it for so, so it's big enough and I can have it for my whole life. Uh, any other questions for the applicant? In that case, uh, I'd entertain a motion by somebody. Tony, Tony's ready. Tony will do it. Um, Mr. Chair, through you, I'll make the uh, motion that we accept, that we approve uh, severance application B0623. Um, as stated in the planning report, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with this. And uh, the increased area will only help to accommodate all the required, uh, all the required amenities that he needs on the lot. Okay, supported by? Lori, oh, you got to be quicker, <laughs> Lori. Friendly amendment, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. A friendly amendment, if I may, to accept the application for cons um, consent or lot addition with the recommended conditions as set forth in the staff report. I would also uh, suggest and agree that the lot addition is not in creating a new lot, but rather as a, I guess, a technical lot adjustment for technical reasons, which is why I would also support the motion. Okay. Tony, it's okay? Yes. Okay. So the mover and seconder have, have agreed that the amendment's okay. So on the motion as amended, all in favor? Gary? Unanimous. You got it, Jim. All righty, thank you. All right. Is there, what's the uh, appeal 20, period? 20. So there's a 20 day appeal period if someone happens to read somewhere or whatever or listen, watch this webcast um, yep. and want to have something to say about it. The power is greater than us. Uh, they have that, that time period to apply for it. So so Alrighty. 20 days probably can go with it. All righty, sounds good. Thank you, appreciate All it. Right. Thank you. So that's the application for this evening. There's no deferrals. Uh, the only unfinished business was the conference. And I understand that we really don't have anybody going other than you and I. Okay, so. Uh, Tony's busy, Tom's busy, Phil is busy, and you all are busy. So, yeah. So, uh, Doug is reserving it for next year. <laughs> and I think if Chris is, is out of the country, he's not going, but if he's in the country, he might. So, it's still open to you, you know. Okay. And with that, we have, do we have any new business? No new business. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Chris, seconded by Doug. All in favor? Opposed, carried. You got beat out. You got to be here to get the motion to adjourn, Tony. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.
Thank you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, Tony. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, you too.